Ah, this works. Okay. Uh, hey, everybody. How you doing? Sad story out of Spokane, Washington, a couple about a, a week ago. Uh, so TMZ Mark Rippey had a rest video that uh, showed his wife coughing and choking after he struck her. He would say, why am I pointing my eyes down? It's because I'm looking at this. TMZ has a very hard, tough copyright policy that I will not violate. So um, at any rate, at any rate, um, what caused me to make this short live stream is that the Spokane police were talking to the Regents, the Washington Redskins legendary quarterback, and in the conversation, he admitted that he was getting treatment. He had hit her in the stomach. I guess she had poured water in the back seat. And the police officer said that precipitated, his words, not mine, a system of events that led to their being stopped by the police or somehow, I don't know how the police got involved, but... The arrest was on body cam. Very sad. And Rippin said that he was getting treatments. His wife said he was getting treatment. But his wife was really trying to make sure that he wasn't arrested. And But he admitted to hitting her. And so they took him in to custody. Um, uh, and so... I say all that because what came out of the conversation was that Ripien had, the, the cop police officer said it, had had, and these are my words, his, his marbles screwed up due to concussions from football. And this is an example of a player impacted later in life by what he went through playing the game. And I think about Mark Rippey in the context of Antonio Brown and also Vontez Burfing and others who are exhibiting unusual behaviors that would seem to track back to impacts from getting hit, hit in the head one too many times and say, and I'm not saying anything that the league isn't aware of, but the NFL needs to get a handle on this before it gets to a point where the very game of football is outlawed. Uh, and I can see that coming because you have too many of these instances of these ticking time bombs going off and there, if you will, explosions captured on social media or at least the aftermath where the police are brought in, law enforcement makes an arrest. That certainly was the case with Mark Rippon. So something clearly needs to be done about this. And some of you have said, well, CTE doesn't appear until after the person's dead. But we have a case here. If you have a chance to look at the Mark Rippey and TMZ video, you should. Where Rippon... Uh, specifically points to, and the police point to, and his wife points to injuries that Mark Rippin sustained, Rippin sustained when he was a Redskins quarterback. So, okay. There's clearly a problem. There's clearly, clearly, clearly a problem, all right, that needs to be solved. Now, I thought that the NFL was on its way a long time ago toward a future where we wouldn't be talking about this when I read a 1979 Pro Magazine article. Pro is the magazine that was sold at the football games, NFL games during that time. And they would sell Pro at the Raiders games at the Coliseum. Well... This particular article had, among other things, an artist's rendition of what the helmet of the future would look like. And it was 
twice the size up here of the helmets that you saw then and still see today, which means the helmets have been improved. But it was designed that way out of recognition for the fact that there needed to be some sort of process to sustain these massive collisions that occur on the field. Did it look artful? No. It looked like space aliens were playing NFL football. That's what it looked like, okay? So, we're at a point, think about it, 79 to 89, that's 10 years, 89 to 99, that's 20, 99 to 20, 2009, that's 30 years, 2009 to 2019, that's 40 years, that's 40 years elapsed time where we've had a collective opportunity to improve helmet technology where these collisions go away. Why can't we develop some type of microtechnology shock absorbers to stop this? That is what is so confusing to me. Does anyone have an answer? I don't know. Anyway, I want to alert you to that. Um, and I hope Mark Rippon gets the treatment he needs and so will rightly deserves. And he is able to resolve uh, his domestic uh, violent situations with his wife. Horrible situation. Subscribe to Zenny62 on YouTube. See you.